Hey yo, what's up internet? How is it going? I woke up at 5.30 this morning because I got a full night's rest. My cupping blisters are still uh, still looking pretty intense. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling really nice and I'm really happy to be back. I've been working for the past two and a half, three hours editing some, other, uh, some unfinished projects. Today should be a pretty solid day. It's nice and warm out and it's just good to be wearing shorts <laughs> and not so many layers. My friends from Beijing told me it was snowing like right after I left, so I'm, I'm glad I missed it. I'm gonna spend another hour or two editing, doing some housekeeping items, and then the day is gonna be good. Oh my goodness, just spent the past four hours editing and I got a lot of stuff done and I feel very good about it. It was looking nice today. I actually have to do a little green screen shoot for the Vicasa video. Big green screen here and the cell phone, so I'm gonna take care of that right now. I was hoping to go to immigration today, as well as class. So much stuff. So nice to wake up early and get shit done. Alright, so the concept is that it's, this is for the Vicasa app video, and we want to show that the app can help you practice yoga and meditation everywhere. So to show that as an example, we're gonna have the hand holding the phone and then behind it will be the green screen. And then I can key out the green screen and then change the background so it can show that you can have the phone anywhere and do yoga anywhere. I'm gonna shoot it in 4K at its highest resolution so I'll have a lot of detail to work with. And what I'm paying attention for is reflections in the phone. Because the last thing I want is reflections of the camera in the shot. So I'm gonna make sure I point it upwards and make sure that there's no uh, glare or anything like that. So tip for all you video nerds out there, green screen only has to be around the frame that you're trying to key around. You don't actually have to worry you don't actually have to worry about the edges because you can just crop the frame. So right here, I just want to make sure that my hand's in there, make sure the glare's not in the shot, and I'm gonna roll for maybe like five, two, two to five minutes. I'm gonna do a horizontal one for another two to five minutes, and then we'll be done. And that's pretty much it. That's how you shoot green screen stuff. It's, some, it's sometimes a little more difficult when uh, people are wearing green clothes or colors that are reflective. So I'm glad I was working with an easy subject that was stable. And yeah, it's super simple. Can I come in? I just called Yo. to say I love you. How's it going, bro? Good man, writing, writing, writing. What you writing? Poem. <laughs> <laughs> every every single month, I like to gather maybe 100 to 150 songs, brand new music, 150 brand new songs, and compile them into a playlist for each month of my life. And this is to keep things fresh, and I have videos for vlogs, and just have constant fresh new music coming in. Because I know that sometimes you can get stuck on an album or stuck on music, and you listen to it until you until you hate it. So I like to keep it fresh, and I look my, for my music on SoundCloud and Indie Shuffle, and those are really great sites. So I, I recommend always having new music. It keeps life really fresh, and you see things from different perspectives. Otherwise, life gets stagnant, and then you know things get boring, and then you hate your favorite songs. And you don't want that to happen, so keep it fresh, yo. Okay, I'm heading over to Dr. Fogg's really quick to drop off a hard drive and some footage to Mr. Oliver Jones, and then pick up my friend Melody, and then we're gonna go to the immigration office. All right, so transferring footage with the only one and only Oliver Jones. It's pretty early, but What's it's okay. I'm, I'm wack. I shoot the bed, so I have to get up. <laughs> kind of funny story. Melody has been in some weight for the past month. And she decided to ride her motorbike while on her phone, and she fell. Ah, uh, nothing you can see. There's yeah, you can't see the wounds anymore, but she's walking really slow down these stairs. <laughs> so Thailand is so, so funny. My, uh, my education visa expires on the 28th of February, but I'm leaving back to America on the 1st. So I'd have to get a extension visa, which costs 3,500 baht, which is like 100 US dollars. But if I just leave the day after and just pay the overstay fee, it'd only be 500 baht, which is like $14. So I'm just not gonna do any of the paperwork, forget walking through immigration and stuff, and just pay the 500 baht fee, because I think that's a way better option and way more cost effective. It's so funny. Okay, so conveniently, there's not that big of a line today. Melody is resting her leg. 
and I'm standing in line for her. <laughs> hey yo. What are you doing? Just came to say hi. Three o'clock. <laughs> this is Melody. Hi. Melody, nice this is Garnett. Nice to meet you. So I'm at my mom and Garnett's place. They're gonna fix me up really quick. Oh, Nurse, nurse, nurse Garnett. <laughs> Dr. Hall. The typical, he flies off the bike, I fix him. <laughs> Goes to China, I fix him. <laughs> so you want me to take him to the airport again. Hydrogen <laughs> peroxide. Oh my god. Ow, ow, cry. <laughs> you feel it? A little bit. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. Well, oh. see, they're, they're turning uh, oh, white shit. now. Like Is this pus. They're pussing. They're, it's turning white. Put, oh my put this gosh. on Facebook. No woman will touch him again. <laughs> That's probably true. Just put it on the floor. Just put it on. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it is pussing. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Here. Thanks, Mom and Garnett. What I do without you guys? That's right. That works. Oh, you already got it. I can sleep on my I can sleep on my back now. Not here. Thanks, Garnet. Look at that. Yeah, will you sign it, Garnet? Sign it, yeah. please. <laughs> Dr. Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, G Man. Nice. Cool. Can you shower with it? No, probably not. Yeah. Thanks for fixing me up, Garnet. No problem. See you, Mom. Bye. Don't forget to take care. It's gotta be your two days ahead of time where you take taxi. <laughs> you good? Yeah, that's a wrap. Let's get out of here. So yeah, it's been 24 hours since my colonic and I've been fasting and not eating anything. And now it's time to replenish with some healthy food. So what do you got? God. We have hummus dip, sweet potato french fries, I feel like it's... daikon pesto rolls. I need you to try this right now, Melody. Beautiful thing. <laughs> mm. So amazing, right? Mm. This is like their signature appetizer. Mm. so good. All right, we decided to get one more thing. This is the green light falafel wrap. How are you liking everything? Amazing so far. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. Uh, Cheers to a great day. Cheers. <laughs> Bye, Tara. Love you. So, what do you think of that food? Thank you for dinner, by the way. No problem. It's so good. <laughs> Bye, Melody. Bye. It's been so fun. Bye. See you tomorrow. Haha. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel so filled today, and so happy, and excited, and all that good stuff. Just helping out Melody, and you know, helping others is a really fulfilling thing. You guys should try it sometime. Selfless acts of love. Just constantly do those things and never focus on yourself. And that's where real fulfillment comes from. It really is. Like just giving without expectation to receive. Sharing without anything in return. Just doing things just out of love and from the heart. It is a really good practice. And I feel so energized right now. I can't believe I woke up at 5 a.m., got tons of stuff done, helped someone else. It's just great. Really, really great. I only have a week left here, and then I'm going to the Bahamas with Will on a five-day cruise. And like, it's gonna be so crazy. So I want to document every single day for the next like month or whatever as things just continue happening, and life continues getting more and more awesome. I love you guys. See you later. Remember, remember, Hakuna Matata.